Hi everyone, I'm Alex from Novablog. In this video, we are gonna see the basics of how to use a plugin in Bubble. First thing after installation, you will have to open the plugin in the marketplace and see for its instructions. So open the plugins tab, select the plugin, and here you will find a button, plugin page. Click on here and scroll down to the instruction section. Here is the instruction. In this case, you have to get the client ID token. After you'll get the client ID, go back to the plugin settings in the bubble, scroll down, and here you will find the input fields for the client ID token. Here are two input fields for the live application and for development. You can use both of them or just only one with one token and this token will, will be used for both live and test application. Not all plugins needs a client ID, API key or whatever. Just scroll here and see if it has any input fields. Also, while we are here, take a look at the plugin version. You can open this and make sure that the plugin is on the latest version. If you'll scroll lower, you will find here all the con content the plug that the plugin has. So in this case, you can see all the events and all the actions from this particular plugin. As you can see, all these events and actions comes from this element that is shown above. So in order to use them, you have to add the plugin element on the page. Let's do it. So open the page and in the visual elements tab, find the plugin element, click on it, and then click somewhere on the page. You can move it around. Just make sure that this plugin element is added directly on the page and it is not inside the group. This group can be hidden on a mobile device and in that case the plugin just won't work. To make sure that it's on the page you can click on the reveal in the elements tree and you will see where it is located. So to understand the difference let's add it in a group. I'll select the plugin element from the elements list and add it in a group. So now the plugin element is inside this group and you can see here that if I'll open this group, here is the plugin. So plugin is in a group. Add the plugin element on the page directly and it will be work just fine. Now open the plugin element settings. So make sure to look at them and see what you can do the, here. You can find here uh, additional documentation under some fields. Click on it and you can read additional information on, about this particular field. Now, if you want to see all the states that the plugin has, just add a text element somewhere on the page, insert dynamic data, click here, select your plugin element that you have added, and you will see a drop down with all the states that are available in uh, this particular plugin element. So if you don't know what states the plugin has, and you can't find any documentation or a proper demo page. Just do it like that and you will see all available states from this plugin element. Really easy way to check for it. Now before doing anything else, first thing you have to do is open the plugin demo page and see for an examples on how it works and how you can implement various things. So go to plugin, plugin page, and find for the demo page link. In this case is here. So first thing, of course, you can test it right here, see how it works, but we want to see how it works from the inside. So click on App Editor and the demo page will be opened in App Editor. It may look like uh, the page is empty, but if you'll go to Elements 3, you can see all the hidden plugin elements, uh, sorry, all the hidden elements from the page. So click here to show them, click on it. In the conditional, you can look an example of how to use the states for, from these plugins. In this case, if the connection status is connected, then this element is visible. So you can find various examples of how the plugin can be used in the demo page. Now, if you'll click, for example, at sign message, you can click on um, open in the workflow and you can see an example of how this sign message action is used. 
Also, when you are here, look in the list of all pages. There is a big chance that this particular plugin has more than one demo page. So as you can see here, there are indeed more than one demo pages for this element, for this plugin, sorry. So open, you can open this demo page, you can open it in preview. Usually there is some da data that is available in uh, plugin uh, states. So for example, in this plugin, we can sign a message, but this message, the state the, that contains the signature will not be available instantly to you. So if you want to use the signature to save it in the database, it will not be available right after the message was signed. So let's say you have a button that says sign, open in workflow, search for sign. So if you run this action and you want to save in the next action, save the signature, let's say signature, type text, and let's select the plugin element signature. So you may think that it will work, but actually at this step, the signature will be empty because the signature state will be will contain the signature only after the user confirms the signing action. So to make sure that this state is not empty, the plugin has events for mostly any actions that it runs. So find for the element events right here. Here is the sign event. Let's make it green. And now we can move this state, this uh, action, in this event. So this event will trigger only when the user approves the signature from his wallet. What I mean by this example is that the states from the plugin elements is not always instantly available. So first thing that you have to do is look for the plugin elements events and see if this particular state that you need has a related event to this state. So look in this uh, list or look in the demo page that I showed you previously. Now, one thing that is really important is plugin reviews. Scroll down on the plugins page and here you will find a section where you can leave a review. If you like the plugins, please select five stars, write some words and submit the review. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions, write them in the comments or join our Discord where I'll be happy to help you. See you.